Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to talk about Bud Blast. Um, I did feature this orchid a few videos ago and um, looks like she's a mini. Um, bit too big for a mini but bit too small for a regular sized fowl. So I'd say she's a mini. Um, anyway, a lot of people have commented on how gorgeous the blooms are and it is. The main reason, main, main reason why um, I love this orchid so much is because of the flower spike. It's really short. I really don't, um, I love orchids, I love Phalaenopsis, but I tend to get drawn towards um, shorter um, flower spike. I have no idea, but I just adore this one. And this is the one as well that has given me an extra bonus it's got an extra spike here that's going on and that's just really progressing really well um, so I'll talk about bud blast once that the orchid has been transported from its um, nursery to the grocery store or to the hardware store where they're going to sell it um, you don't know the transport and you don't know where they actually have been placed so um, the bud blast which is right here I'm lucky that I only have three that's one two and three right here it is because of the sudden change of temperature so let's just say in um, where it's grown it's a constant let's say about 21 25 i don't know and then it goes straight to um, the store and then they'll suddenly have an 18 degrees or they'll suddenly have um uh 28 30 degrees um temperature that's when this occurs as well okay or it has been um, exposed to direct sunlight so it is just a massive um, change of temperature for them, causing the buds to actually just die or blast, if that's the term that we use. So you can't really tell um, once that you bring home an orchid like this one did. Um, if you look at the video before this, probably about a couple of videos before this, it was absolutely fine. It was perfect. The buds look like this, nice and healthy. All of a sudden, a few weeks later, um, it just blasted on me. Maybe it's the temperature here as well, so you can never really tell. So it is a just a touch and go, I guess, and just crossing your fingers um, that... It probably have occurred already where you bought it from or it probably occurred where you took it home from um, took it home too sorry about that but anyway yeah so I'd say in my experience I'd say you can never really tell so yeah so you just have to cross your fingers give it um, a really good condition at home hopefully you will bring home an orchid that will actually fully bloom for you that has you know give you a really great spray of display but in this case I'm just so lucky I'm counting my blessings instead of counting my mischiefs um, I only have one per um, flower spike right here so that's a secondary one I've got two secondary and one primary so there's one bud blast in each so actually you know what that's pretty darn good anyway if you have any questions guys i'd love to hear from you um just go ahead and do it on the comment box below um if you haven't already subscribed i'd love to have you on board just go ahead and click that button and i'll see you on my next segment 